Oh, hi guys, welcome back. Today video we're gonna um, see how we can uh, back up your operating system for free. I got a program is called GimageX. I'm gonna use that um, to back up and restore the operating system or reinstall the backup file. So you just Google search GimageX and then select download. Um, the current version is version 2.20 um, you go down and then you should be able to see here we are click on download and the, the current version that I'm using here um, 2.2 and it's free so it came as zip file so you unzip it using WinRAR or Windows to extracting your zip file and just drag a drop somewhere for the time being thinking about it, um, shouldn't take too long right um, I got the file, save it on desktop and also um, I have window PE as my bootable I'm gonna copy the GMXX folder to the um, bootable window PE so you can boot up Win PE and then you'll be able to run GMXX it depends what um, Win PE version you got on I've got the 64-bit and um, you can run on 32-bit of course I have got pre ISO image here and I can I have the link below how to create window PE so you can follow the video up there I'll put the link below for you so I'm using Rufus to convert my ISO image insert your USB to the computer and then click start takes a couple of minutes All right, um, it's done. So now I've got a folder. I've got the WinPE ready. I just drag the image, G image X into this folder. And I can now go into the computer and restart your computer. It depends what you running. And then you should be able to select the boot sequence when you turn it on your computer and now you should see Windows Boot Manager leave them there you want to boot up Windows PE so make sure you know which one is drive that you boot in off so in my case it's this one hit enter So, um, with Windows PE is default and is put into Windows System 32. Um, you need to find out where your drive located, um, where is um, your image of X folder located. In my case, it's in the drive. So I'm gonna go to G drive and then go into the GMXX folder. It depends what the Win PE. Um, platform you created um, 64 or 32 um, I'm using 64 so I'm gonna go into 64 bit um, and run the image X file image x 64 and then just open the program up now with this case I'm gonna back up and then once it's done 
I'm gonna do the system restore or they call um, restore the image in this case the image X they're using apply so we do backup or capture now you cannot backup the file to the same location you have to create um, or backup onto external hard drive so the operating system located on C drive Windows 10 and then browse to your um, drive that you want to back up the file um, click that and then just call Windows 10 11 backup OS backup and then save um, you can name description like Windows 10 Windows 11 OS backup compressed file I like to leave it as default at the largest compress um, so or you can have no compress which is a, it's gonna be a lot of data on the image file on the WIM file rather express also not too not too big but um, this one is smaller um, name of image you just can just leave it as it is um, and then verify now you then cre click create so that's gonna take some time so come back to it so right now it's gathering all the information of the C drive and then it's gonna start back up so so far so good um, it's got up to 23 percent so this is a finish and um, I was gonna apply the image to, to the SSD drive so after you done the image check, uh, capture the image this is important that you need to find a, a bootable Windows 11 USB key and then what we need to do is to just reinstall Windows so it does create a boot file um, let, let it until you finish the installation and you don't need to sign in to the computer it will just um, you can just shut down the computer so just shut down the computer Hold out Chief F10 to get into DOS command and then type shutdown slash s slash s. So that will just gonna shut down the computers. Um, now you should see Windows Boot Manager. Leave them there. You want to boot up Windows PE. So make sure you know which one is drive that you put in off so in my case it's this one hit enter so right after you um, load the best operating system you go you boot up bootable windows PE and um, connected your um, backup drive to your USB drive um, so find the <coughs> run this part command just to ensure that um, you formatted the drive correctly list values should have um, this partition here volume 0 is this is your um, is this so you have this zero that has three partition inside of this zero but it's not giving any drive letters so we what we want to do is to assign the light drive letters to volume zero and format that drive so it's just a bit of work around um, but um, 
hey, nothing is free. So this is something that you can manipulate it, and it's free. So I'll just select the value zero, assign the letter. I'll just giving a M drive, whatever drive letter you need it. So now, if you list value, the drive value zero is getting M drive. So you should be able to go inside there, M and yep it's in there so that is your current operating system so what we need to do now is go back to x drive which is the um, win pe drive and then format uh, the m drive uh, and then i think slash quick or slash q uh, i'm not too sure question mark uh, format slash question mark so that will give you some um, so slash q is what you want quick format so leave it as it is currently is correct in um, this is in the NTMS format format m drive slash q Boom. Everything will be deleted, but just make sure you select the right drive and you'll be good to go. So it's giving you the um, value letters. You can put anything. I just put Windows. So that's done. So the M drive, we have absolutely nothing in there. So I've got the G image X on the D drive so I'll go in there see the G image X depend on what your platform of the Windows PE my case is 64 so I'm gonna go to 64 CD X 64 and then G image X launch that program up so the program is up I'm just going to adjust the camera. I think it's going down a little bit. There you go. So, um, what we want to do is restore the image. So, go to apply and then the GMXX version 2.2 is what you need and browse the image that you want to restore back to the operating system that one there and then drive that we're going to do is M Windows okay and do verify check and apply so that's gonna take about an hour so I'll just pause the video and make sure it's started it shouldn't have any problems when it's done you should be able to boot up your um, drive so that's looking good okay so I'm just gonna speed up the video and then hopefully we'll, we'll have a good result after that so that's all done and um, still restart remove all USB drives and shoot so after restart your computer um, it will just restart a few times and then it automatically load into Windows. So your backup has been restored successfully without any problem. I uh, don't think I lost any data. So as long as you know what you're doing, just make sure that you are aware that could be some loss of data of doing it. So backup data just in case. I hope this video is helpful and is free. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you next video. Thank you.